Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. So welcome, let's do a 90 degree bend in cable tray to measurement. So first of all we want to find the backer bend and this time we will do it at 150. So measure 150 and what we're now going to do is put a square line there. So just make sure that when you do this you do the right orientation. So I'm marking from the back. So make sure that you are aware which direction you wish to turn. So do a 45, 45 if remember if this tray is too big then the width of the tray measure that, that measurement at the top there is 100 which is the size of this tray so you could just measure 100 either direction and that would give you the 45s. So we've marked that, mark across the edges because we're going to remove those lips off of there the return edges. As I say, make sure of the direction. So I, if, you know, if you're not sure, I tend to put a little mark on the other side just to make sure I know that's the direction I wish to go. And then we're going to cut this. Boy, do I regret not using a bench or something to work on, or even just a piece of wood. Not the safest way to do this, but it did the job. And cut those lips off. Now you could. Just leave it like that, fold it on top of each other and nut and bolt it and that would give you a 90. I personally, I've never liked it like that, I try to make a mitered edge so I'm going to cut that triangle piece out because it doesn't take much longer. Obviously make sure cable tray is all filed up so let's speed this up and file this bit and then fold it together. And I think that looks personally looks better. The only person who's going to see it is me and the person putting the cables on, and one day someone taking it out. And then drill a hole, and with roofing bolts, gutter bolts, fix through and secure in location. Make sure it's nice and tight. I think we'll speed this bit up. And then once you've got this, we can then have a look, make sure it fits on your Unistrut or whatever you wish you put it on, make sure it's tight, make sure it's 90. Check your measurements that it's 150. Give it a quick file up before you do that. So I hope this has been useful. Sparky help, thank you very much.